He's coming right in here. Look at him. Here comes one right here. We're surrounded. Start out with a minnow on a 16th ounce thumper pill head on some brush, see what happens. First one of the day, finally. That nice slab there, Pete. Good. Put him in the box. net again so I'm gonna have to just dip my hands in and grab the middle He's got him got him a nice crappie there you go here keep him reeled up I'll get him There you go. Right off that pile right there, Pete. Huh? Right off that pile. Put him in that left hand side on your side. We'll put it in there, Pete. Drop her in there. There you go. Perfect. You just right above it, wasn't you? Yep. There's another one. Yep. Decent one, nice fat one. I pitched to it and swam that one out. Yeah. I said, I just pitched to the pile, swimming it out. Good 
number two. I didn't even see that one on live scope. I was just uh, through to the pile and swam it out. And he hit it. He'll get us another one. Several hits. I just, I just ain't took it. That's There's another one right there. There's that pile, Pete. Huh? It's a good one there. Right over that pile. <laughs> Going right over that pile. Not even looking at live scoop. There we go. Nice 10 inch crappie right there, Mark Twainley. Pete's got him another one. Two now. <laughs> nice crappie, Pete. Get him. Oh, that's a big one. Hold on. Let me get. Let me get this one. Oh, God. He was a good one. He hit that on the way down. Decent eater. Another decent fall crappie here at Mark Twain Lake, Pete. Yeah, they're not really thumping it too good, are they? No. Said the ones I've caught didn't really thump it. Yeah, they're right there. They're right there. Drop down right on him. I looked at live scope on that one. <laughs> yeah, I think. Another nice one. We'll just spot lock here for a minute and just keep doing what we were doing. Let me get you over here where you can fish a little bit. We're eating the plastic today. Watch this. I'll get one right here. I can't show where I need to. <laughs> There's one. Told you. <laughs> They're just good eaters. <laughs> They're just good eaters here at Mark Twain Lake. No big ones tonight. There's a couple. We've had a couple decent ones on, but. Well, it's nice not having to put a minnow on. Do what? It's nice not having to put a minnow on every time I catch one. There's one right there. Another nice slab crappie here at Mark Twain. That's a pretty decent one. That's a fat one right there. Right there. There you go, right there. Nice Mark Twain Lake crappie.
Well, I'm going to fix Pete up with a thumper shad head, 16th ounce. Old brush pile finally got him after about four times of getting in there. Got his jig back every time. And we're going to put him, put that in your bag here. We'll save that for later, Pete. Is that, that, that jig head that was in there. Huh? Huh? Where'd you die that now? That's a good color there. That looks like a crawdad. Yep. Let's put a white on. Of course, it is white, red and white. There might work good. Yep. There you go, big boy. Look at that plane. Right on the edge of them trees. Huh? Right on the edge of those trees right there. See that airplane's coming right to us. There's another one, Pete. Look at this. Coming in. He's coming right in here. Look at him. Here comes one right here. We're surrounded. Huh? Hey, kind of small. <laughs> We're gonna flay them. We might as well flay a few of them. Look at that. I don't know. That's a small one. That's about a eight incher. Yeah. Ain't too small. Didn't even feel him. You're down there by it. Huh? So you're down there by it. I see your jig. There's a few fish on it, but Ooh, Pete's got one. Oh, come off. Come off. There, there's the pile. I just got hung up in it. See if there's any big ones in here. Oh, that's pretty good in that head on. There's one. I saw him come up and get it. Uh -huh. That's an eater. <laughs> there's another eater. I don't know. He's small, I think. Let's see how. If he ain't nine inches, I ain't gonna keep him. Yep. About eight and a half, we're gonna throw him back. I had one of those. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you got it on? Yep. All right, Steve from Iowa, if you're watching, there you go. This is from me and Pete. Hi, hey, Steve. <laughs> We're out catching all your crappies. You ain't going to have any left this spring. <laughs> anyway. It's a dink, but I don't even think it's going to be nine inches. <laughs> oh, it is nine inches. You know, that last fish I just caught, he was underneath. There's a lay down. Let me show you this lay down right there. And he was right underneath it. I dropped it down on the bottom. And there's still two or three more down there. 
we're just going to see if we can but i don't think they're very big they're about them nine inch crappie good little eaters we're getting us a little mess of fish to eat tonight we ain't got nothing big we've you know we've got a couple probably pushing 11 but uh, here comes one right there you know we got a nice mess of fish got pete out of the house having fun pete huh? you having fun yeah <laughs> tell you what that guy right there taught me to crappie fish this lake about 10 12 years ago didn't you pete took me out a bunch of days we went introduced me to the cork fishing here on mark twain it was awesome so now i'm taking him showing him live scope turn about fair play that's right <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know Pete had a good time out on the water. We caught a few crop. You know, I think we had 11 total. Had two or three get off, but that's the way it goes. But we had a good time. That's the main thing. Um, you know, I started out live scoping, and I know since Pete, he's not going to stand up there and live scope. He's going to sit back here, and he's going to cast, and he's going to wind back. And so pretty much what I did after I dropped down a couple times, I uh, found a brush pile, hit spot lock, and we just started casting to it. And... Uh, you know that's why we were catching them most of the time i did drop down a couple more times on live scope but. so anyway guys if you guys are out on the water and you got live scope and you just don't want to look at live scope find a brush pile stay off of it spot lock flip your jig in there and you know run it over the brush pile and they're going to bite so that's what we did today we had a good time hope you guys enjoyed it you know again hit that subscribe button and uh if you want to get notified when i got new content out hit that bell so until next time guys and gals we'll see you out on the water